Tell me when. When? Hi. Hi, I'm Randy Wicker. I just went crazy shopping in Haiti. Bought the this necklace here for ten dollars and a ring for five. And uh, I really wore this. They all remember me. When you wear this, I got all kinds of compliments and people remember me. They always call me daddy though. I'm not, I'm not a daddy. Well I'm a sugar daddy, but not a real daddy. It's so funny they keep saying daddy, daddy. But at least they don't call me pops or gramps or something. Anyway, I bought two of these for five dollars a piece. This is the sun and the moon. You know, this I don't know why I bought, bought. This is a heart. This is another ring for five dollars, which is really charming. You know, you wear it like a, it's a conch shell, which they've turned into a ring. The canes, I bought this one for ten for myself. This one is a, oh, it's funny, I'm going to block, block that out. This is a Virgin Mary I bought as a gift for Bernadette. This is a cane I bought just because it's pretty for ten dollars. This one I bought because they said it was a man's face and he has a beard. That's why I bought that. And uh, this is the wonderful statue of, of the freed slave. And the, he has a saber that's pulled out of here. I have to find it wherever it's in line. That's one of my favorites. I learned. I didn't know about this imagery of the free slaves that in the Haiti. They, I mean, they became free, but then they messed up their own government by having a bunch of crooks run them or something. I don't know the details. I was looking for voodoo stuff. This was as close as I got. I don't know what that is. This over here is uh, the marketplace. It's wonderful because they're on the other side of San Martin. The, uh, they had marketplaces where women actually became part of the economy because once a woman is able to go out and start working and supporting herself, that's the secret to freedom for women and self-employment. That was my secret too. This is for a Jehovah Witness friend. It's made out of wood. This guy told me this was a Jehovah Witness, told me there were 20,000 on the island. I told him how George Heath, this is an angel, even though I'm an atheist, I love angels. I think it was just beautiful for five dollars. This is a cat for Bernadette. And this is an abstract thing with, with hearts in it. And there was one man that one man that gave me five magnuses, five, for five dollars. I bought this earlier. I think I paid three dollars for everything, but anyway, I said five bags for five dollars is too cheap. I gave him ten dollars. And you know, you tip people like the man that chained me the towels in the bath station. I gave him three dollars. I can't tell anyone else was tipping him. I'd say to people, why don't you tip this guy? You know, tip him. You know, these guys were coming in just using the facility and he was there like, very nice older man, you know, and people are so cheap. I heard the tourists on the way back to the boat. They had one that was standing this high. He began at 60 and we got him down to 20. I mean, I said, you know, that's like robbing people, you know? It was just trying like beating up a poor person and taking the, the quarters out of their pennies or dimes out of their pocket. We have a sick society, we Americans, who think, get the cheapest, the cheapest, the cheapest. What about the people that work at making this stuff? Should all be shot for their attitudes. I hate American. I hate American attitudes towards other people that are poor. Those people never knew poverty. And those people don't know those people out there. The guy that pushed me in a cart to the thing for five dollars, he told me he was 72 years old, I think, but I couldn't understand. He couldn't have been 72. You know, and I tipped them five or seven dollars. They seem to be very happy. You know, which which that I think they do expect a tip for. But it's all for for tips. But you know, there's so little gratuity in the world. Everybody thinks that, you know they they should have it all. Oh yeah, this final. This was an abstract. So if you're one of my friends that has a great big huge huge apartment and with room for this thing, God knows where I'll put this. It may end up being rolled up and put in my cupboard somewhere. And I think I've covered it all. I took, I failed to take my pants. I took the shirt. By the time I took the shirt, I could wear this. And when this hung so low that I put this on, I had underwear like this on under it. And uh, you couldn't even tell. You couldn't even see my, my underwear. So I got into the water for a few minutes. And that's it. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the tape.